we are given the graph of f of x and asked to graph g of x equals negative one half times f of the quantity x plus two minus one. Because we have negative one half times f, the negative reflects the graph across the x-axis. The one half gives a vertical compression by a factor of one half. The plus two in the parentheses shifts the graph left two units and the minus one outside the parentheses shifts the graph down one unit. Let's record these transformations. Because f of x is given as a segment, if we perform these transformations on the two endpoints, we can then graph g of x. Notice how f of x has an endpoint at one comma six and three comma negative four. Let's begin with the endpoint one comma six and perform the transformations. In order to shift a graph left two units, we subtract two from the x coordinates which gives us an x-coordinate of one minus two. And now to perform a reflection across the x-axis and a vertical compression by a factor of one half, we multiply the y-coordinate by negative one half, and then to shift the graph down one unit, we then subtract one from the y-coordinate. This gives us negative one half times the y-coordinate of six, and then minus one. And now simplifying, one minus two is equal to negative one, and negative one half times six minus one is negative three minus one or negative four. This is the corresponding endpoint on the graph of g of x. Now using the other endpoint of three comma negative four, we perform the same transformations. So again, to shift the graph left two units, we subtract two from the x coordinate, which gives us three minus two, Next, to perform the reflection across the x-axis and a vertical compression by a factor of one-half, we multiply the y-coordinate by negative one-half, which gives us negative one-half times negative four, and then to shift the graph down one unit, we subtract one from the y-coordinate. Simplifying, we have an x-coordinate of three minus two, which is one, and a y-coordinate of negative one-half times negative four minus one, which simplifies to two minus one, which is one. And now we plot the two endpoints on g of x and sketch the new segment. So negative one comma negative four is here, and one comma one is here. This is the graph of g of x. I hope you found this helpful.